Hello. So today we are looking at another experiment from the heat transfer set of experiments. The experiment is titled thermal mass. These are going to be the equipments that will be required to perform this experiment. This is the box uh, that we have provided in the kit. This is one of the building materials that we have. I've taken concrete. There are six different types of building material. We can take any one of them. Um, and one, one by one, we can take all of them to compare variation uh, with different materials. This is the concrete panel. Additionally, we'll require a couple of other equipments, the temperature gun and the lab thermometer here. This experiment here is designed keeping in mind uh, the thermal mass concept or how do we explain or, or uh, for students to understand this concept of thermal mass, which is nothing but the ability of the material to uh, absorb the heat and store it inside itself before letting it pass to the other side. This capacity of storing heat uh, of, or, of the material is called thermal mass and this value is different for different materials. Here, what we want the students to envision is how different materials have this property of thermal mass and how this property can be utilized to incorporate into the design um, and and by, by incorporating this concept, we can make sure that our designs are uh, basically smart in nature, which can, um, which can let heat pass through both the sides, which can, uh, which can uh, operate or which can let diurnal temp temperature exchange to take place uh, with the help of these materials. So we'll look at the assembly of this experiment. I'll take this concrete slab here, I'll put it like this and I'll lock it. I will make sure that this concrete slab that I have is facing the sun and it is vertical. So now I can see that the sun is this side and it is facing, it, it is directly facing the, the box here. Here you can see the the shadow is directly perpendicular or, or sorry, directly parallel to this, this edge here. So it's perfectly in line with the sun. Now to perform this experiment, first I will note down the ambient temperature in which I am performing this experiment. As you already know that this experiment requires direct exposure to the sun and also access to open spaces, rooftops, etc. Uh, now I will note down the ambient temperature. Currently the ambient temperature that I have is 46 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature that I'm shooting in um, or, or that I'm performing this experiment in. Now what I'll do is I will require a timer for which I will use the, the mobile stopwatch that I have. And I'll start the timer here. Sorry, before starting the timer, I'll just make sure that I remove this cover here. So this cover here is removable. This needs to be removed. And now I'll start the timer. And after every 30 seconds, we'll note down the inside and outside reading of the concrete. I'll use this book here that I have to note this reading. So I'm waiting for 30 seconds to pass. So it's 30 seconds now. I'll note the, this reading. Currently it's 37 degrees and Inside is 36 degrees. Now what I'll also do is I'll set a temperature, whatever I had gotten the 
uh, for ambient temperature 46 degrees i'll set a 5 degree uh, limit for my maximum temperature so i will set a maximum temperature of 51 degree celsius and i'll wait for this uh, slab to reach that temperature so i my t max is 51 degree celsius now one uh, 30 seconds have passed again i'll take another reading 39.3 and 37.3 i'll wait for another 30 seconds to take my third reading i'll keep on doing this till i uh, i achieve my maximum temperature which is in this case 51 degrees celsius i'll note the third reading uh, 40 degree 40.4 degree celsius and in, inside it is 38.6 degree celsius so i will keep on doing this till i achieve a temperature of as i said 51 degree celsius and um, yeah so i'll keep on repeating it So finally, I have gotten a temperature of 51 degrees Celsius. Uh, this has taken me around 13 readings to achieve and I have noted all, the, all of them down. F after doing this, I will take this whole setup under a shed where there is a uh, shadow uh, and, and do repeat the same procedure until the temperature that I have or, or this, this setup has drops to uh, a, a, a minimum temperature. The minimum temperature that we'll have, I will just show you, is going to be the ambient temperature of the shadow, where, what we measure under the shadow. We'll just take you to that part. So we have come under a shadow. And now the first thing that I'm going to measure is the temperature or the ambient temperature of the shadow part. This currently is 40 degrees Celsius. Now I'll note that down again in the book. And I have to bring down the temperature of this concrete slab up to this temperature, which is my uh, minimum temperature, which is 40 degrees Celsius. Now I'll start the timer again. And first reading I'll note. So currently my uh, Concrete is at 43 degrees Celsius outside and inside it is 42 degrees Celsius. I'll again note both of them down. I'll wait for 30 seconds. Thirty seconds have lapsed. I'll note down. I'll look at the temperature again, which is 41.9 degrees Celsius outside, and inside temperature is 41.4. I'll keep on doing this until I achieve a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, which is my minimum temperature, which is the ambient temperature that I have, and I'll note all those readings down. So we have reached a temperature of 41 degree uh, of 40 degrees Celsius, which is my ambient temperature under the shadow. This has taken me four readings to do so. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, plot time versus temperature uh, on on a graph paper to see what is the variation of temperature over a period of time this will give us the uh, the time lag between the maximum and minimum temperature to achieve uh, to achieve the maximum and minimum temperature and this will give us nothing but the thermal mass 
of this material and how much time does that material uh, or does the heat take to enter uh, th uh, enter the material and uh, trans get transferred on the other side and vice versa this is nothing but the thermal mass concept thank you